Back here at home Monday, it's New Year at UNLV. About 29,000 students will head back to class. Yep, and Monday is also a new year for the school's new president. He's been on the job since last January. And new at 6, our Jeff Gillen sits down with Len Jessup. Jim and Jess, good evening. Jessup's goal is simple. Make UNLV one of the best schools in the country. We've got demand through the roof. How's this for a welcome? Go ahead. The university president helps you move into the door. Len Jessup on Wednesday welcoming some of the 1,800 students who will live on campus. He's been on the job since January. Seven months in now, maybe seven and a half months, so all still pretty new. But he's getting his bearings, taking the helm at a school with ambition. UNLV wants to play in the academic big leagues, and Jessup wants to move it in that direction. Top tier university, it means that we want to be good in everything that we do. It already does some things very well. One of the best hospitality schools in the country, on track to get a brand new facility. Jessup says one of the most exciting things is happening off campus. Here, downtown in the Las Vegas Medical District. This is where the UNLV Medical School will be built. The legislature gave it $27 million to get off the ground. It has been a busy summer. <laughs> busy, he says, getting the school accredited. Then comes hiring. Then come the students for the first class in 2017. We're already hearing from faculty that want to come to teach in the medical school uh, from around the country and from students uh, that want to come and be in the medical school. Still up in the air, a proposed $500 million on-campus stadium that would bring the Rebels back from Sam Boyle. Jessup says it needs to happen. This is a, a college town of two million, uh, and people are really excited about athletics. Having a, a, a new stadium close by or on campus is incredibly important for the student experience. Which begins Monday. Yay! <laughs> And on Monday, when school starts for the 29,000 students, four of them, 4,000 of them will be freshmen. It is the school's biggest freshman class ever.